Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, fellow acolytes and Factorio interested people. We are back on our lovely, almost deserted planet. And first thing to do is to check the pollution cloud. It's still fine. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So, we are on our way to make circuit boards of course we already uh, automated them but we want to make um, electronic circuit boards not only circuit boards electric so <laughs> electronic circuit boards and for these we just need to make transistors and we got everything almost we got plastic bars we got tin copper wire and now we just need silicon wafers we already set up the factories for them so now we just need a silicon bus silicon is available at our base so let's set up some mining drills uh, I'll go with a large air mining drill or two of them since the pollution value is actually very good let's see Cop on our copper field we only have two mining drills, Mark II. Mm, they have a pollution of 25.6. And let's see how the large area mining drills will do. I have to get rid of some trees for them. But that it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Okay. And we have a pollution of 17.1. So these are practically cleaner than their more modern brothers. And a little bit dirtier than the standard ones. So nice and balanced okay I see I see how it is need a little bit of power here and off we go and they are not too slow okay so silicon wafers are made by a silicon plate in normal production facilities and silicon plates are made with ah, calcium chloride carbon and silicon ore okay down the rabbit hole we go I see so calcium chloride is made with stone and hydrogen chloride mm. let's see we have a stone deposit which we are currently mining on and we have another one up there next to a quartz and silicon uh, deposit so I guess we are we are taking a little detour here uh, I'll take these mining drills with me and we are taking a little detour to the ammunitions factory right five magazines should be all right uh, okay and now we just have to find our car there it is.
Mm -hmm. So, I hope we have better luck than last time. But we'll see about that. Okay, so let's see. We have to drive through a forest. Mm, but we could stay on our tracks, on our train tracks. Uh, let's do that. Hey, the train is more. <laughs> the train is faster than my car. Okay. So we have to drive past this forest and then just to the right. And there are two alien outposts. Or three. Um, let's see if we can clear all of them away. So this makes 1600 kilowatt and this would mean 16 solar panels. Ain't nobody got time for that. That's quite a large amount. So I guess I'll just transfer uh, energy from our base and then just build build stuff in my base. Okay, so right in the middle between between the stone and uh, silicon I'll put these radar stations. Just wait for the last one to finish and then we can think about Building some trains. Mm. So let's see. This mines the silicon. Uh, and okay, there is a stone mine. So it would be a good I've to take in plastic bars from from our oil station bring them up to the stone factory and then drive everything down to the quartz mining facility I guess Okay, so we will only mine stone here. So let's start with making a train station here. Mm. 
like like so okay and then driving down here <laughs> that's a little bit too far Okay, we can bring everything here. Okay, now we have to drive through the woods. But as it seems, it's not too obstructed here. <laughs> yes, okay, we only have to get rid of like five threes, that's, that's manageable, okay, so... Not enough rails. Yes, that's true. Uh, I don't have any more rails. Okay. So I, I'm gonna go and pick up my car and pick up some rails and be right back. Alright, I made myself some more tracks. And also I want to hook up this train station to the chest signal. So... We told that uh, the train to only uh, stop here and unload if plastic bars or batteries are greater than 900. So, uh, did Oh, wait. Yeah, we are on the train, on the wrong station. Hmm. All right. Okay. So this can go. And this as well. I need to do it manual. So you're taking batteries, right? and plastic bars and solid fuel and on this train station you check for circuit conditions on plastic bars so if they are greater than 1000 or let's say greater than 900 or circuit condition where are the batteries battery equals 900 or is greater than and this should be an end right so now on automatic train starts right away because let's check back with our chest here we've got more than thousand batteries and more than enough uh, plastic bars right okay so I made myself some more tracks and some more train stations so I hope that's enough now but we'll see about that <laughs> yeah it was here Mm, that also means I will need a second station or a third station here. I want to keep monorail systems. Mm, I could mm, make a, make a second path from this straight tile here. And then going to the next outpost 
but then you have to place down uh, train signals so I'll just uh, make a second unloading mechanism or loading mechanism and then we'll just split the plastic bars evenly right so is this making plastic bars? yeah so our petroleum is full, our heavy oil is also full uh, yeah that's because our production of solid fuel is full as well hmm. all right I just deleted the lubricant tanks so now we can use up some heavy oil so we can start cracking oil again so we get some more petroleum and so we get more plastic bars all right so plastic bars, they get split off here and there. Uh, so I guess I need another splitter. And I'll split you exactly there. E Ooh. No, bad idea. <laughs> Here, All right. Okay. And then I'll need some more underground belts. Luckily, I have got. Oh, this won't work. All right, not a problem. Then let's go one time further. Yeah. Okay, get rid of the tree. Go on the ground again. And then just leave it at maximum length. And this then will become the new train station here. Mm, but of course we need the circle need like a circle so let's get rid of some trees ain't nobody got time for that i wonder let me check ooh grenades are way better <laughs> to do this <laughs> all right nice and um, so let's get get out our trains let's see we, we come in here Yeah, this is looking good. Okay. So I just need a few more grenades. Uh, and for that I need coal. Well, I'll take some. Okay. And while these grenades are cooking, let's design this track properly. Okay, I think we can go up for a few more tiles and then we go straight in this direction. Whoops. Ok, 
Okay, so first off we need to go to our stone production line. Okay, so if we ever need gold, there's no problem logistically because we already connected it up. No! <laughs> I misplaced it. Okay, let's try that again. Nice. Okay, so we are now connected. And we need to go off from that tile as well. Yes, like so, because we want to have a ring. I knew it. Okay, so two tiles less. Should do the trick, right? Okay, nice. I've also built some train stops, so let's see. First off, it will come in here at our stone station. And then it will stop here on our silicone station and then uh, we only need a stop down there okay can I build a locomotive uh, no, I'm missing some engine parts. Okay, so I have to uh, walk all the way down. Hmm. Alright, I walked back home. So let's get rid of some more trees. of them I can clear away per hand <laughs> if you want to call it like that okay so a few more okay yes whoops ah not enough rails again no <laughs> The universal principle of Factorio, you are always short by one. Alright. Okay, so I made me some more tracks. Um, now I just have to connect properly to this line of my track. Okay. And then we can set up our final station, like here. Okay. And this is plastic bar to silicone. And and I'll make it white since we are extracting plastic bars. All right, uh, so foo bar stone works, and you'll become gray. Uh, 
and Stellar Works is called Silicon Valley. But with citation marks, because uh, it's neither a valley nor are there chips in production. So that's that. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Still got some minutes left, so. Let's just build a train and a cargo wagon, but we don't have enough steel, no problem. And I definitely have to research if there, if there is a possibility to get rid of fluids that you don't want. So like if you can just pour it somewhere or well no idea but something like that. Okay. One cargo wagon please. One should be enough. And we need a locomotive. So I had the assembly line here. Uh-huh. Uh, but we need iron pipes. Okay, this should be Shouldn't be a problem though. So, there you go, more iron pipes for you. Okay, a locomotive. What else do we need? Only basic electronic boards. Okay, this shouldn't be no problem. Also, um, when we then finally have our electronic circuit boards, we can start moving on from steel chests to requester and provider chests in our logic network and probably can work with some robots which I'm quite excited for, although I really like the trains. <laughs> okay, so only one more engine unit and we are set. Okay, and let's build a locomotive. Also, <laughs> four seconds for a locomotive to craft. Mm, seems a bit shaky, especially because we are crafting it by hand, but all right. Perhaps we are just so skilled that we can craft whole locomotives by hand. Okay, oops. Now we just have to have to go up here and place it down. Oh, there we go. And our cargo wagon is here. Uh, of course you need fuel. That's true. Uh, just gonna lend me some f from this chest here for now and next episode we will just split up there and provide fuel on this train station as well okay so let me quick look up the silicon wafer it's made by silicon plates which need Calcium chloride, right, which we make back in our main base. So we have to transport it from our main base to this base here and then uh, get it from, from this base. 
or we can just uh, start and work with train signals. I'll probably do that because I just want to try out and learn new stuff. So we'll probably make some few bypasses here on, onto this train line and then build another train station to the left which uh, takes in the calcium chloride I think yeah or do we have water up here? no, not really okay what's that? <laughs> If we had water up here, I would just build some new electrolysis machines to make new hydrogen chloride, but we have to transfer it up here. So, let's see. I'll make a, a crossing right here, where the train then can can leave that track and just come down to this one. All right, so I'll leave off right here and we'll build that rail network in the next episode. And then we have to deal with uh, rail signals as well. So hopefully everything works well. Whew, yeah, I'm definitely a bit excited and a bit overwhelmed by the rabbit hole that opened itself but yeah we will do it and also we then can use the opportunity and make um, railway passings or crossings for ourselves where we install a gate and the signal where the train cannot pass by as long as we are crossing the rail road all right so definitely uh, Next episode will become another train episode, I hope you don't mind. And I hope you had fun up until here and perhaps even learned a little bit or something new. So stay tuned for the next episode, uh, as well for tomorrow's episode of Orem or Friday's episode of Divinity Originals in 2. So as always, thank you for watching, have a nice day, bye bye.